Hello children of Corpus Christi School, this is Mrs Parsons here. Welcome to our first wellbeing assembly since half term. Today we'll be focusing on social distancing. Let's start with our opening prayer, making the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. A prayer remembering God is with us. Lord God, you are always with me. You are with me in day and in the night. You're with me when I'm happy and when I'm sad. You are with me when I'm healthy and when I am ill. You're with me when I am peaceful and when I am worried. Today I am feeling loved because I have my family and my friends. Help me to remember that you love me and are with me in everything today. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Since March, lots of things have been different about the way we have had to leave, leave out, lead out our lives. Most people have stayed at home for the past few months to help stop coronavirus spreading. Lockdown is being lifted now because the number of people getting coronavirus has gone down. It is safe for people to start doing things they used to do. This means some grown-ups are returning to work and some children are going back to school. I can stay two metres apart from other people. This is called social distancing. Social distancing means we must stay two metres apart from people we don't live with at all times. And this can feel a little bit strange. Here is a story for us to share about a hedgehog and a tortoise who are trying to get their heads around social distancing. Why we can't, while well, we can't hug. For all the children who can't hug the loved ones they love. Hedgehog and Tortoise were the best of friends. They wanted to give each other a great big hug, but they weren't allowed to touch. Don't worry, said Al, there's lots of ways you can show someone you love them. Hedgehog tried to wave. That made Tortoise smile. Give us a wave. Tortoise made funny faces. That made Hedgehog laugh. Hedgehog wrote a letter and Tortoise wrote one back. And when Tortoise did a little dance, Hedgehog joined in too. Hedgehog blew kisses across the gap between them and Tortoise caught it and kept it. And sent three back again. Tortoise sang a song, Hedgehog played along. They both painted pictures so everyone would know they were friends. Through rain and shine, they could not touch, they could not hug, but they both knew that they were loved. For all the children who can't hug the ones they love.
think what a lovely story that was. Even though Hedgehog and Toy Toys had to stay apart, they thought of ways they could show how they cared for each other. How could you do this? What could you do to show someone you care instead of a hug? Mrs Parsons has written some letters to her family to, sh to say to them how much she's loved. Why not do something to show someone you care for them today? A letter, a painting, drawing or anything that will make them smile. Now, I've got a joke for you. What kind of shorts do clouds wear? Thunderwear. <laughs> to end on, some children who come to see Mrs Parsons share a book which is full of quotes. And the book that I use is called The Boy, The Mole, The Fox and The Horse. And I wanted to leave you with this quote. Always remember, you matter. You're important and you are loved. And you bring to this world things no one else can. Stay safe and be positive. Bye.